Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're on a, to a new project here on this fifth wheel. We're going to be installing a 50 amp transfer switch. This has never had one before, so this is going to be a fresh install. Plus, we're going to be installing a generator outlet for backup power. And we're excited to show you what the backup power is going to be. It's going to be these EcoFlows, these EcoFlow uh, gener power generators. We'll show you a little bit more of that when, uh, a little later in the video. But that's what we're going to use for backup power on this. So we're going to be installing this transfer switch here we got lots of room under here we're going to be installing that and then we're going to be running an outlet to the front here because that's where we're going to keep them eco flows up front or where he's going to keep them it's for a buddy of ours and then we're going to be installing an outlet on that side you guys don't need to see that we're just extending an outlet but we'll be putting the generator plug over to here you guys can see that but first thing we got to do which we did was open up the uh take all the boards off so we can get in here uh the next thing we got to do is locate our shore power plug and then one thing you want to make sure that you do right away <clears throat> is shut off that unplug your shore power you want no power going into the rig because uh you'll be cutting you're going to be chopping right in the middle of that power wire that goes from shore power to your distribution panel you want to cut that you're going to be cutting that right in half so you want no power there so make sure and if you guys just a caution if you guys aren't comfortable doing this kind of work where you're messing with electrical and stuff make sure you get a qualified professional come and do it because uh you don't want to be messing with that kind of stuff it will uh put an end to you pretty quick so with that being said, let me get out here, unplug this shore power, and then we will come in here and look for a spot to put this thing. Okay, we have our breaker shut off and we have our plug totally unplugged. So this unit has no power going to it. You wanna make sure you do that. You can also, as a caution, go in here, if you have a battery switch, shut your battery switch off. That way you're sure you're not gonna ground anything out. So we have all that done. Next thing we're gonna do, see if I can get you guys in here. I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see up in here. Oh, you guys can see all right, but you can see right here in this spot We got lots of room here to put our transfer switch and our power shore power cable is right there it, It's just running right along here. You guys can see that and it, we have enough room because it does like a bow So we got more than enough room and cable to put it in here So we're gonna go get that kind of do a rough place where we want it and then uh, on to the scary part of Cutting that cable open. So <laughs> here we go all right, we have our transfer switch right here. We're using the GoPower TS50 50 amp transfer switch. Now, when you're going to be putting this in, you got to pay attention to how you want to place it in there, right? Because on the back of the cover, it'll tell you what goes to what. Like on this particular one, here is our shore power, here is the generator power, and here is the load. So this is going to go to your panel. So as this sits, we're going to want to put it in like this. So our shore power can come in here, our generator cord can come in here, and then this can go back to our, distri our um, distribution panel here, the uh, load side. So this is going to be perfect the way this sits. Also, when you're choosing one of these transfer switches, that's one of the things you want to pay attention to is, you know, where the holes are. Because some have all the holes on one side, some of them have on or at one end, or some of them have on the side. This one happens to be nice because the load's going here, the two... The shore power and generator are here, so it's going to work out nice for us. That's about where we're going to place it. We're just going to get our cable here, cut free of all these other cables, so we can make sure that when we set it here, we'll cut it in the middle. You know, hopefully you guys can see. We'll cut it here in the middle, the cable, halfway, so that way we have enough cable to put in from everywhere, and we don't have to worry about adding cable. So let me get this cut free. All right, guys, we have our cord cut free. And you can see what I mean. We got equal amount of cable that way and this way, which goes all the way back to the shore power over there. You can see it coming in the side. It's got the loop. Yeah, I'll see if I can point to it right there. That's got the loop. So we have the space here. We have the center of our box. So we know if we cut it here, we got enough cable to come in to hit, hit this one. And we got enough cable to come in here to hit this one. Oh, get you guys in frame. Enough cable to come in here to hit this one. And then this will be our cord for our generator, which is going to be our EcoFlow. So they're going to come in here. Um, so we got to ch chop this. Um, I always use a voltmeter just to make sure I don't have power in anything. Even though I'm unplugged, you just never know, especially if it's not your unit and it's somebody else's, you want to make sure that, uh, you don't have power before you go lopping into that thing. Then also we have to get our cable or our uh, strain things in here to hold the cables once we bring them in. So we'll put those in there as well. And then, uh, Maybe I'll put those in, then I'll cut the cable. That way I can text and make sure we got power. So let me get those into the box. I'll show you those. Uh, and then we'll put those in and then I'll lop that cable. All right, we got our strain relief uh, things in there. 
Uh, they're the pretty big ones. Um, just make sure you, you know, lock them in good with a hit with a nut. And then uh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is we did shut the main breaker off and the panel inside the unit also. You know, can't have enough precautions. So now we're going to set this in place. We're not going to quite screw it down yet because we want to make sure we can manipulate a little bit as we're cutting our cables. Remember, we're, we're setting like this. Our cables here. Something like light down, guys. Something like that. Yeah, something like this right here. And then uh, our cable. Like this. Man, I don't know. It's hard to get lighting in here. That's a little dark for you guys, but you can see the cables here in the center. We're going to be cutting that cable and then we'll have enough to manipulate it a little bit left to right if we need to. But it's going to be about right here. I mean, to you it looks off, but to me that's centered of the things. It's just the angle we're at. But I'm going to be lopping it right there. And then uh, we'll strip it back and then we can put those in. I'll tell you, I'll show you where they go. Yeah, I'm also, on the panel, there is no book or anything. Just the wiring diagram on the panel, which will tell you where everything goes as uh, far as power wire. So let me get this cut. And then uh, we'll move on to getting that stripped and put them in place. Well, there we go, guys. We've got our cable cut. You can see we got more than enough space to get it in here where we need it. Um, that is always the nerve-wracking part, cutting that, but... It's not the end of the world. You can see we have, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's four cables in the end of there. They all go to like leg, leg one, leg two, common and ground. So we're going to get those, uh, we'll get these stripped back a little bit so we can fit them in there and have enough wire. And then we'll clamp them in and uh, get them in where they're supposed to go. So let me get that stripped back. You can use whatever you want to strip this back. They make a, like a, a sheathing stripper if you want to get that. They're kind of expensive in my opinion. I'm just going to use a utility knife, lightly go through that to get that off. Then we can peel it back to get access to our wires. So that's what I'm doing. You guys can use whatever method you like to get it done. But that's where we're going. All right, we have our wires put through here, our, our sheathing. We strip that back. We got the ends of our wires stripped off. And then we have this one you'll know we didn't cut because this has to come all the way over to this side to the grounding bar. So we're going to have the black goes here. So you guys, the black, the white. The red it goes black white red and then your grounding or your ground goes over here to the grounding bar so that's how we're going to put those in we got those stripped back a little bit to put in here and that uses a an allen key to put it in and i think this is a four millimeter and that's going to work these here so you can uh, tighten those down really tight so that's what we're going to do we're going to put this one in first and then we're going to put our since we already have it cut we're going to put our our panel uh, cord back in and then we will get to our cord to do our generator plug so let me get these uh put in and then i'll do the other side for the other side like like this one here it's the same thing you're doing to this side you're just doing it coming through the top here and the colors are going to line up so it's going to be black white red right along here and then your ground is going to go over to this grounding bar so make sure you give it enough because there's going to be a lot of you might have to add some ground to it just to get it over there but let me wrap that up put those in and then we'll come to the next step all right, guys, we got the one that that one we cut in half. We got it stripped back, and they're inside each one of those. Zoom you guys in. You can see it's in there and in there, black, white, red. We got our ground coming over here to the ground bar. You guys, I'll try to get you there. You can see it in there. Right there, the ground bar, it's into there. Now we just get our, get our generator wire, our generator cord. We're going to put that in there. Then we're going to route it up, route it up and over and probably follow along the water lines over to where we want to put it our shortest distance so we can get out there to put a generator cord hey nick we seen you there <laughs> um we're going to get that cord now and cut the end off what we ended up doing instead of just buying like cable we just to make it easy we just bought a it's a 50 amp power cord just like an extension one we're going to cut the ends off of that and put them put one end in here and then one end in the generator plug box just to make it easy so let me go get that cord we'll cut get the ends cut off. I'll show you what we got. I'll, I'll leave links to all this stuff down below if you guys are thinking about doing a project like this um, to all the tools and stuff to make this job that much easier. And then uh, they probably are affiliate links, so it helps the channel out. Appreciate that, guys. All right, let's go get this plug. 
All right, this is our 50 amp. We've got a 25 foot 50 amp cord here. We're just gonna lop the ends off of this and use this cord. Uh, we like the way the cord is. It is a thick cord, so, cause they are shielded. Uh, so we're just going to get our clippers. These ones do work, uh, although it is hard, but it, it will work and you just go Psh! And there you go, we'll lop that off. We did leave a little here. You never, I mean, if you're like us, you never know when you might need this kind of plug and you got enough here to splice in. So that's why we did that. Then we got to do the same thing with this end, lop this end off. Then we can wire this into our transfer switch and then wire the other end into our generator, our generator plug, and then route that the way we want it and zip tie it up. And then that'll be ready for the backup power of those eco flows because those things are pretty awesome. So we're going to lop this off and get this other end put into the transfer switch. Now it's the same thing on this one. It's black, white, red, but there's a green wire in this one instead of a bare copper. The green one is going to act like the bare copper. So it's still going to go to that grounding bar over there. But uh, let's get this other end lopped off. All right, guys, so here we are. We have it stripped back. We have, it has this like shielding there. We just cut it back. Then we get stripped our three wires, our four wires here. Like I said, there's leg one of hot, leg two of hot, your ground and your common. So it's gonna be black, white, red, like it was black, white, red, like it was on the other ones. And then ground, will go to that ground bar. And then we gotta route this all the way through up to the front here. You can see it's gonna come into this area because that's where our, our eco flows are gonna go for a backup. So the generator plug is gonna be in there off in this corner. So we're gonna go in here and try to find a, find a way to route this from that switch up and over and have it come through here. So here we go. All right, guys, we have our generator cord coming in. You can see black, white, red, and our ground goes here. Uh, I, I wanted to have a little more bite since it's multi-strand and there's one hole that comes all the way through. So I put it all the way through and then trimmed it back. It's only ground, so you're all right there. And then uh, the last thing I gotta do is tighten these two screws to clamp that down. And then we routed our cable. You can see it routes up to here. We have a zip tied to the frame and it goes up and over and then it's gonna come up along those pipes you see along there. And then it's going to go to the front and then we'll plug it into the generator cord. So we are pretty much done here. We just got to put the cover back on, which is pretty easy to do. We'll slop that back on there and then uh, tidy everything up. And then we'll go to the front and do that generator cord. All right, guys, we have our generator cord fished through here. We had to drill a hole in the bulkhead part of this uh, for it to come through. And we will fill that with foam like the other one. We just don't have any with us. We got the ends stripped. They're gonna come up through. We're gonna have our box sit this way. It just, just works. And then we're gonna put our wires into the generator plug. You can see here there is spot for red, then mark it nicely red, spot for white, and the, the black. And then your ground will go in here. You can see there's a spot for it. And that's where that's gonna go. So that's what we're gonna do now. You're wiring it in here, color matching. And then uh, we'll hang this box up here and that'll pretty much complete this job. We'll, uh, we'll give everything a test, make sure it's working, of course. But uh, that's pretty much what we're going to do here. So let's get this wrapped up, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, just screwing our cover on here. We can find the right hole. We mounted that sideways like this. So it's going to work good for us. It's inside, so we don't have to worry about the vertical orientation uh, for weather. So this way works good. So that way the cable comes in kind of straight at it. We're still gonna put a cable tie because we can't really fit a, a strain relief in the bottom of this with that size cable. So we got that there. We got the stainless steel. I'll show you what we're gonna use. These stainless steel cable clamps. We're gonna, actually we probably won't even put one there because it arcs and we can't get it that tight, but maybe we'll get one right here to hold it in so it doesn't pull out of the box. But other than that, she's wired up, ready to go. And then our EcoFlows can plug into that. We'll show you those here in a little bit before we wind up what we're using uh, to, to, as our backup power on this. There's also a generator here if we want that. That's what the cool thing is about having this generator plug. You can plug the generator in, you can plug anything you want into it. And this is a 50 amp generator plug. So you can plug in either or the 30 or the 50, especially if you have the adapter. So this part's tied up. We're gonna go clean up inside. We're gonna turn on the power and test it out. Make sure everything's working and then uh, clean up. All right, guys, we got this mounted to the floor nice. The cover is back on. We're going to test it. Probably should have left it uncovered to test it, but it's tested. <laughs> We're gonna assume it's all good. So that's good like that. We're gonna button all this up after we do turn the power on and confirm everything. But that's done, the generator plug is done. 
that's all done. So this job is pretty much complete. We're just cleaning up after we test it, but uh, we're gonna test it and we'll come back, give you guys a closing and uh, show you those eco flows before we close this out. So stay tuned for that. As you can see guys, we got this all screwed back in here. Everything's closed up. Everything is nice there. Come around to the front. We have the generator plug nicely put in there. So now that you can plug in the eco flows or even this generator down here. And then we also have an outlet over here that we installed. That's gonna allow the eco flows to be charged when you are on shore power. So that way, if you got an issue or if you're low, you can charge them as long as you're hooked up. Now these EcoFlow Delta, I think these are the EcoFlow Pros, Delta Pros or whatever. These here are what's going to power for his backup. Uh, he has the regular Delta Pro, he has the battery, and then he ordered another battery. So you can, you can keep expanding them to keep going with power. So he'll have enough to run this RV for 10 plus hours. That's with at least two ACs going. So that's a lot of power there in the palm of your hands. And I know Delta Pros... They have, or EcoFlow, they have the new, I think it's EcoFlow 3, the Delta 3 or whatever. That one's coming out, or it is out actually. You guys can head over there and check that out. That one's pretty cool. Does a lot more power, longer longer times on everything. These things are just awesome. Uh, they are they are a bit on the higher price range, but think about it. No cleanup, no noise, no mess, no fuel. Just plug it in and go. So they do have their benefits. But like I said, he does have a generator just in case. So uh, with that being said, guys, um, if you guys have any questions or comments about anything we did or anything we used in the video, let us know down below. We'll get to them. We will leave links to the stuff we used, like the transfer switch, the tools, that stuff. There'll be affiliate links that help the channel out. Don't cost you a dime. We appreciate that. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Try something new.